Hello everybody, my name is Carly Norman and this is my video discussion question for lecture 6.2. So to answer the question, have I had a profound experience playing a video game? No, I have not because I myself don't really play video games, but I nanny for two families and both of them have one boy each that's age six and um, both of the boys have different exposure to video games, so I've seen profound experiences um, in the children that I nanny, but not in myself. So um, the first family, their child um, plays video games whenever he wants to play, um, has constant exposure to television and video games, and the parents really don't have any restrictions on how much he plays. So he does get bored of it pretty easily, so he probably plays on average about an hour and a half to two hours per day. And then the second family, family B, um, their child plays about 20, 25 minutes of video games per day um, because the parents regulate it and he also watches 30 minutes of TV per day. Um, and these are some of the video games that they both play. So two of them deal with shooting. Um, one is Deer Hunter, and you, sh you shoot deer, and then Call of Duty obviously contains a lot of violence as well. And then they also both play um, a Super Mario video game, too, that doesn't contain shooting. So um, the first child from the first family, everything that he chooses outside of the context of video games, like um, books, toys, anything like that, deals with violence. He has a lot of guns. Um, he's not very affectionate, and he... Um, He's, he's violent. He's always climbing on top of his twin sister, and they're always fighting and things like that. And then the second child from the second family, he still chooses books with these characters, too, and, and toys and stuff, but he has a lot of other interests, such as, like, art and reading, and although he can't really read to himself yet, um, he pretends to, and he has definitely a, a more increased attention span than the first boy. Um, when the boy from the first family is watching TV or something or playing a video game and you say his name over and over again, you can't get his attention. But the second boy has a better attention span and he's aware of um, what's going on usually. And he's also more affectionate and more caring towards um, his siblings. So that's just a little bit of what I found. Um, but for the second question, is there a place for video games? Originally, I would say no, but in the last um, discussion question with the debate between Ebert versus Barker and Raher, um, Raher says this quote that says, Some films, however, do demand quite a bit of participation, leaving the audience hanging at the end with unanswered questions. The art experience continues after the audience leaves the theater as they discuss the film with each other or simply think about it by themselves. And I kind of connected this to video games because some video games can be like that too. Although I think that exposure to video games for young children should be limited, maybe as they grow older that can be something that they decide on their own. And it can be sort of like an art experience because that's what it is. It's open-ended and you can decide your fate in some video games. So there, there is a place for it and I think it can facilitate a lot of creativity in the right context. Um, as for the government regulation question, I don't really think that this should be regulated like alcohol or tobacco. Um, there shouldn't be any bans on video games. I just don't think that that's needed because, as I said, um, the boy in the second family that I was talking about, he is developing perfectly fine, and so is the first family, but um, the boy in the second family has exposure to video games, but it's not as much and I feel that he's a little bit more empathetic and affectionate and I, I think that it's just better that way. But I think that the regulation of video games for young children is in the hands of the parents. Um, and that's really what it all comes down to. So the government could try to intervene, but I don't really know if there's so much that they would be able to do.